Um, good morning, everyone. Thanks for coming out. So yeah, like today we're going to talk about this uh, Alpha Go paper. Um, so I guess I, um, how many of you read this, this paper when it first came out last year? Yeah, a few of you, yeah. Do you remember it was such a big hit, like it was such a big deal, and people dubbed, dubbed it as the beginning of super intelligent AI, and how now you can master the game without, go, without human knowledge, and it is a, such a big deal. And, um, but I guess I, so today we're just gonna go into it and see what, what is it really about, and uh, how, how, how they mastered this game, and ra rather there's anything that we need to worry about, super intelligent. So let's get to it. So fundamentally, um, what DeepMind is trying to do is solve this game of Go. So this uh, is an ancient game, uh, play on 19 by 19 grid. So players take turn placing black and white stone. And I guess what is so interesting about this uh, game is that, that because it's so, so many combination that the complexity is like 10 to the power of 100 or 170. And people call it this more, uh, more, it's more complex, more, complexity than the number of atoms in the universe. So that does make it a really interesting problem for AI. So what researchers have been trying to do is to sh try to find a way to go through this intractable search space and find a solution to it. And I guess I, um, in 2016, a breakthrough had happened, such that AlphaGo released the first ver version um, of the program, and it, first time it beats a human champion, like a world champion, um, by the four to one. So I'm sure all of you are familiar with this event. And this has been such an in impact and big inspiration for countries around the world, even to just like, look into AI as a serious uh, technology to be re reckoned with. Um, so but I guess like, so to really truly appreciate what AlphaGo Zero did, like we kind of need to uh, understand AlphaGo. So we're just going to go through it and see how, how AlphaGo did its um, uh, um, search. So ba basically, at the heart of AlphaGo, there's like a two neural network and a tree search. And I guess like the first network they call the policy network. And the purpose of this is just to, to decide what is the best next move. Um, and, and they and Alpha, DeepMind does this by supervised le learning. So, so it got some um, example games from human expert, um, and it just uh, trained this convolution neural network so that it can comp predict the human extra move to an accuracy of 57%. And, and then to improve on top of it, like they went through reinforcement learning. Uh, they used reinforcement learning through self-play so, so that it further improved this percentage to a new policy that pretty much perform, out, outperformed just the supervised version like 80% of the time. So I can, you can see the result, the out, output of the game is that like for a given board state, that this policy network is gonna give you probability of, of which move it is gonna be the best move next to play. So purely by supervised learning, like you see you pick this move, but I guess once you add the second stage into it, then um, the program pick that move. So th this is one part of what the um, uh, al algorithm needs. So the second part of the AlphaGo algorithm, uh, it uses this value network, and what this does is that you evaluate the chances of a player's winning, winning given a board state. And, and th this also had a similar common, uh, CNN kind of um, uh, architecture, and, and this one is also trained by self-play. Self so as you can see the out output, the same, like um, the out output from uh, the uh, previous policy was used to conduct this gameplay, and, and as a result afterward, you, you get this kind of a heat map that is uh, like, like the dark, darker blues that suggest a stronger move. And eventually it tell you that for this give, uh, give given board state, like, um, like uh, it, might, it might have a best chance of win, 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 winning, like how, how much chance does this player has be able to win given this board state. And I guess after this, it combines like 
So okay, right. So there's one one thing about the, the this uh, alpha go system is initially like the, the system will change sep separately. So um, so uh, and and as you can see, the first stage is trained by a human example and trained on GPU, and you ran for three weeks. And the second stage is ran for like 20, 50 GPU through self-play, and you did it for one day. And the value network also was trained on GPU, and you ran for one week. So after all this work, um, we'll AlphaGo have a, basically two net network. One is to pr predict what the human expert will do next, and one is going to be providing you with an estimate of how well a player will do in the current state uh, of the board. So to tie this all together, they, they applied um, the Monte Carlo tree search. And, and, and this is like ba basically um, the structure, the heart of what AlphaGo is. And um, so very generally, it's like given a board state, it is going to look, look at um, the, the value of the, this board state. And that value is um, computed with an upper, upper control bound. And it's going to pick the max. And th this value is based on, um, it, it, does, it, it is proportional to the number of times the state was vi visited. And, and it is proportional to the prior um, of that branch. And the way it get the prior is that one, like the, the expansion stage, so once um, the, the move is picked, the prior is really just the, the probability of, of, of this uh, board state um, coming uh, from the policy net network. So, so yeah, so, so once, but, but in here you can see that it picks the move and, uh, it, uh, and decide to expand to this uh, move. Uh, and once it expands to this move, it does what they call a rollout. Um, so, so it simulates like, the game and plays it to, to the end using the policy ne network. And, and in, in turn, it gets a re reward from the end. And what it does at the end is that it combines the reward with the value ne network prediction of, of this state. And it uh, does um, it use some sort of uh, a mer merging um, uh, Mer mer merging fact factor and mi mixing prior fa factor, uh, and you mix them together, and it provides a, a estimate of how well this move is going to do. And through million, and actually not million, but through many gameplay, and then eventually it takes the mean of all the different simulations, and it updates the kill value, and that's populated backward to the final network. So this is how 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 they do. Do this church search. So, so this was a huge success uh, back back at the time, and and it was like uh, really like it, it was just like amazing what they did. But there are some limitation to AlphaGo, so it's such that it require a large data set of extra game, which is sometimes for other domains really hard to come by, and it uses a lot of handcraft fee features to try to cut down the number of search it has to do. And uh, as you can see, like this, there's actually quite a bit. But 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 uh, we, we researchers say it's not as much as some of the other algorithm in the past. But there's still a lot. And also the training is not done in as a, as a whole system. It's broken up into the different asynchronous parts, and and it's really computationally uh, intensive. So a lot of training, a lot of GPU. Um, so so that's why. DeepMind um, spent, um, come over with this paper, AlphaGo Zero, and they try to address some of those limitations. And we will see how, how, how they do it in such such. So, so with this one, um, with DeepMind, uh, with AlphaGo Zero, like one of the key improvements is that it's a, it uses no human knowledge and learn only by self-play. So they got rid of the supervised learning portion, and and what and the backbone of this algorithm it is no longer based on, um, like, like it's no longer like the, uh, based on Monte Carlo tree search. Even though it uses Monte Carlo tree search, 
C3 search, but a lot of the search is being done through um, policy iteration. And, um, but how, how they achieve that um, it, it is that at every board stage, uh, it, it in every board state, it performs a uh, Monte Carlo tree search, and then it out output a policy um, pie uh, for this board state. And, and the researcher, the key insight the researcher made was that this state, this policy, usually would give a be better estimate of, uh, of the prediction of, of the board state compared to just um, the raw uh, neural net network out output. So, so they would say that this policy is always better than just using the neural network alone to, to predict. Um, we are going to go into more detail on, for, on what, um, what the neural network does and what, what the tree, tree search is. But, but for now, we just assume that this, we know that this is always going to improve a little, little bit on the policy. And that's why they're able to pick that move and go to the, you use, use the best possible, pick the best possible move based on the tree search, go to the next state, and then you can just continue to improve itself as the game page go, goes on. Um, so, and one, once the gameplay ends, it produces a reward, and in turn, the reward is going to be fed back in, into the neural network, and it is going to use to uh, evaluate um, the uh, to to up update the neural ne ne network so that you can better be able to pre predict the, um, the the possibility of the move winning and the out outcome of rather this um, game can is, is uh, how likely this game is going to end up so um, so 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 that is the training process. And as then, then the system is just changed from the top to the beginning, just cycle through it, and over time it in, improves itself that way. Um, so, so, so we touch on the neural network already about so what it does and, and what is really, really like how it's different than the AlphaGo is that it instead of a separate policy and value network, they they combined it. They they combine the, the network in, into one, so it is, um, and and basically it's a one single network, and they, it's going to have two heads. Like one of them is going to pre predict the possibility uh, of the next move winning, and the next one is the like how likely this board state is going to lead to win. So very much it does the policy and value network all in one. Um, another significant improvement they did is that they changed up the network structure. So they went from purely just a convolution uh, neural network structure to a, a rest net kind of structure, residual network, where they have this option to by, bypass uh, a, a, a layer. Um, so, so later on, we'll see what, what effect that this, this by doing this half. Um, And, and that, in turn, that neural network is fed into a, a, a new Monte Carlo tree search that, that is going to guide the move at each stage. And they did it, this is a much simpler tree search. Um, the, the, the thing, the first step, the selection step is the same as uh, the however go. Um, the, 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 the expansion, part of the expansion step is the same. Uh, what is different is that in, instead of doing a rollout to, to get the um, value, um, the reward to mix in with, with, um, uh, with, with the value network, what, what uh, AlphaGo Zero does is it sim simply uses this reward from the neural net network. Um, the, the, in intuition, the in intuition is that be, because the Monte Carlo tree search is going to get uh, we replay a lot of time uh, as we go through it, um, like like for because at, at every every step, every board state, they um, the researcher do a uh, thousand six hundred uh, simulation of of the you know, of the Monte Carlo tree search 
to to and 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 they you use some sort of a temp temperature um, um, there are changes to temp temperature and noise. They add added some of those uh, in into the the move selection phase, so that every step like you will try to encourage some exploration. So that is not always we replaying the same move. So by doing so, at the end, so you can get a really broad estimate of how good a particular board state. What is the best move is for a particular board state by just taking a mean. Uh, mean uh, average of of the value um, of of the out outcome, and the Q is pop populated backward like that. So, so so through it all, it, it will track the best kind of power policy that that it finds through auto simulation, and then the pi is we re return for the selection stage at the um, at at the policy in iteration. So, so by doing all this, so by doing all this, there's also some other benefit that um, the AlphaGo was able to gain by doing this. Uh, particularly, is it was able to get rid of all those handcraft fee feature. So the system just learned from the raw board state and its history, and plus some ba basic games about where you can place the stone or not. And finally, it was able to just improve significantly in the computationally, such, such that um, instead of uh, running our distributed system with uh, 50 um, G -G GPU, is able this whole algorithm can just run on Google Cloud on a single machine with 40 TPU. So that, that was a significant improvement on that as well. So, so you might ask, like, what the, 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 the how, like, the, does this how 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 well the, does this do, right? So, um, so I, I guess here's uh, one of really interesting uh, in empirical evaluation the researcher gave, and as you can see, uh, with this this blue line is our alpha goal uh, zero, and th this you 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 can think of it as. Um, a, a, a test L algorithm, or just you can think of it as L, L, Alpha Go, uh, the original version. So I can you see like this yellow rating is like um, 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 metric the researcher came up to evaluate how good the L algorithm is doing. So you can see that in the beginning, um, Alpha Go Zero is not doing really, really good because it's just as randomized le learning, right? You just take random move, but eventually. Like uh, after 20 some hour, it all already uh, starting to get really good in, into the level, level compared to the original Alpha Go. And by the 36 hour, hour it sur surpasses it uh, in terms of performance. Um, so this, and, but one thing is very interesting is that uh, the researcher also found that like it never get quite as good uh, as the Alpha Go, the supervised learning me method. In, in predicting the human move, like so, so what what they they, they discuss and they what they concluded is that because the AlphaGo Zero start to invent new way to play the game that is different different than what the human does. So I I find that really mind blowing in a way, and as you can see, like um, but but it's not doing it just randomly. It also are able to better predict the out home outcome of, of the game. This is the mean square error of, of the out outcome of the game uh, and come compared to AlphaGo zero. So, so this, this chart is very interesting. This, um, and I remember we discussed how it replaces the structure of the neural network and, and, and we wonder what kind of in, impact it, it, does it have. So, so dual means that so the dual structure means dual policy and and um, and and value network and and also a dual means a single policy and value net, net network combined. So you can think of us that this as um, that the dual is alpha go zero and and the separate is alpha go. So as as you can see, like in general, like then and the, these two bar represent the red rest net um, for performance. So in general, for both L L algorithm, 
uh, the ResNet performed better, better than just the CNN. Um, but all, all, also, the, um, the, the duo, um, by having a combined policy and value net network, it generally performs better, better, better than uh, having them separate. So, um, uh, yeah, like this, this one shows it like, again, like in terms of predicting human move, that, um, that um, having a single net network, it, it, it doesn't do much, much good. But, but in terms of uh, predicting the out outcome of game, and, uh, again, uh, having a single network using the, the, um, the residual uh, net network structure is really have a significant impact on the performance. And then the researcher explained that because some of the fee feature was a uh, non-useful fee feature, especially early in the training, it is going to be able to pass through a, a, a layer um, of the neural network that, that is not significant. So that really helped boost the performance. Okay, yeah, so this, this is like um, probably the most uh, significant and uh, what I found the most exciting part of AlphaGo Zero is that it's able to, to discover existing strategy of Go that's known by man and some unknown one that has previous unknown. So, so you can see on this, this graph, um, so, so as the number of hour training Go goes on, the frequency of certain type of move being played. So the, the, this like one space jump, night's move, are some of the common approach that a um, player of Go you, you uses in the game. So you can see that like Alpha Go Zero, um, in the beginning, it doesn't know these kind of move. But, uh, but as time goes on, it kind of lear learns them, and then it kind of you, you uses them, it uses them. But a after a while, it, it seems to have find a better, better, better move instead. So you start not you using them. So, so I find this quite exciting. And also, some, some certain move, it, it seems like you just discover them after 40 hour of training, and then you find that it's really effective, and you just keep on you using it. So, so this is the new knowledge invention part. Um, that, that is quite exciting. So, so one, one may ask, well, what happens if you keep leave this algorithm run, running? Uh, so the re researcher le left it running for 440 days, and then he sees that it is still growing. Like it's, it's still making its way through so the, the complex search space, and it looks like it plateaued here after 20, 20 days or so. But for some reason, after 10 days, may maybe through a random move, it just discover a new branch of the tree that is able to search through it, and kind of just kind of give it a new life and, and then improve a bit, a bit more. So, so this, is just, this is exciting too, that you can continuously reinvent yourself. Um, so in, and then this graph shows you in terms of comparison, compared to all the previous ver version of, a, uh, of computer Go program. Like, so we can see that Alpha Go zero performs like just probably at this is the state of the art right now. Um, and if you're wondering, this is where I'll, I'll ever go, the real version that be Li, Li, Li Song Dong. So again, you can see it quite, it all, all matches it quite a bit. Okay, so, so to conclude, the, we, um, the paper stated that, so Peer re reinforcement learning is fully feasible in, even in the most challenging domain. So, so they encourage us to look, look at that more. And also, is it possible to achieve human, uh, superhuman performance even without any human knowledge in, from the start? And I guess that one of the most <laughs> in, impactful things they, they said in the paper is that probably I find it this, is that in a matter of days of Go Zero, we discover goal not knowledge that's accumulated by humans through thousands of years, right? Um, but, but he does it in a matter of days. And, and on top of that, he discover new insight and strategy for the game. So he kind of contributed to the domain. So, so I found that quite inspiring. <laughs> okay, so I guess to conclude, I guess now is uh, 
let me just like I propose some question for discussions. <laughs> and, uh, so, so I guess I um, I was sort of reading online and um, and the AI head of Tesla Tesla had, had that this critique of uh, AlphaGo, such, such that um, AlphaGo is still very narrow AI, and and it's, and it benefited a lot from the free feature of uh, the board board game of Go, um, like being a per perfect game, being fully able to simulate. So, so he said that maybe sometimes this algorithm cannot be used in some other domain. So, so I'm, I'm, I want to see what you think. Can it be applied to another domain? And, and I guess I, uh, did this paper inspire you in any way? Like, I know it did inspire me because I kind of came, well, want to come back to school to learn AI because of however go, go. So I want to see how, how, how I said inspire you. And any suggestion for improvement? And um, and also, like, do you think we should use AI to discover more knowledge? Should we <laughs> count on AI to solving our, our proper problems? And finally, is like, how, how do you feel about super intelligent? Like, are you do you agree with Musk or do you agree with Seth 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 So, so yeah, like, so these are some of the questions we can discuss. And I guess yeah. So thank you, thank you so much. And. Mm -hmm.